Today we're going to show you how to take delicious leftover pulled pork and make it into amazing tacos with an even more amazing pineapple pico de gallo. You'll love how easy it is to make these tacos that look worthy of a five-star restaurant. So grab your ingredients and let's get cooking. To make the pineapple pico, first we need to cut some bell peppers. These will need to be diced, but we're going to use a vegetable chopper later to do that, so we don't need to cut these pieces too small. After we cut the bell peppers, we're going to cut half an onion, and again, this will need to be diced, but we're going to use the vegetable chopper. Next, we're going to cut up some cilantro. This won't go in the vegetable chopper, so we're going to cut this up real fine. Just look how easy it is to chop up the vegetables with this chopper. If you don't have one, just dice them by hand, but this makes it so much easier. We're going to add some pineapple chunks and the juice to our chopped vegetables, and then our cilantro, stir it all together. Then you want to refrigerate this for a couple hours to let the flavors come together. Now to make the tacos, use some leftover smoked pulled pork, add a little lime juice and some water to make sure you have a little layer at the bottom of your tray. You're just going to cover it with some aluminum foil and bake it to 175 degrees. This will help keep the pork tender and juicy when it's done. You can find this full recipe in the pinned comment. There you have it, a delicious way to use up any leftover pulled pork you might have on hand. These tacos are sure to be a hit with the family, and the pineapple pico de gallo has an unexpected yet delightful twist. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did enjoy this recipe, head over to my website and leave a comment to let me know. I love hearing from my fans. Don't forget to share this video with a friend who loves tacos as much as you do. Thanks for watching and happy cooking.